getting new life into the 4G antennas. Can I keep it simple? But um, over the last few months, 3G networks has been shut down here in Australia and obviously globally that's also happening. Um, what actually is happening is now those same frequencies, if you think about this technically, are being reused for 5G. That in itself is already um, quite a useful artifact. It means that you can now have um, 5G coverage in the regions where the 3G, uh, sorry, 3G, 3 gigahertz type frequencies were not really um, going to work well. It doesn't have the long range, it doesn't have all those kind of things, although it has the high capacity. Um, now, what we find in Australia, and this is globally the case, is 5G will now be used in the lower frequencies. Now, on the screen, I just have the extract from um, ChatGPT that helped me mm -hmm. to just get a summary of all the 5G bands used in Australia. You can see Vodafone, Telstra, and Optus all are using the lower bands as well. 700 megahertz, 850 megahertz, and 900 megahertz are now being used. These antennas, this is the original LPDA 92 from pointing antennas, is now suddenly getting a new life. It's a 5G antenna because it works perfectly well. In fact, it works really great in those low frequencies. So if you have an antenna like this, or you are in a rural location, you're looking for an antenna solution, the LPDA 92 is the antenna that will get you um, range and coverage as well. So you don't have to look for a fancy old new antenna. All antennas that you use that have the lower bands, they have a purpose in the 5G bands as well. Now another thing with the new 5G modems, well not new in 5G modems, 5G modems in general, what I'm learning as I'm going through these tests this summer holiday that you have 4x4 MIMO. Now 4x4 MIMO does seem to mean that you have to use all four antenna ports. If you only have two antennas or you only have space or you only have capacity to use two antennas, it's not a problem because what I found works really well, and I'm looking at the Optonica and I've tested an Alpha 5G modem as well, if you at least just have two antennas outside. So in this case, I'm just showing a combination with a PUC2 and a 2x2 LPDA. That could work really well because you do get the other two signals. They're not as strong, but if you get your main and diversity or something connected to a proper high gain antenna, and the other two, instead of having the modem on the inside, it's routed to the outside, this kit, which we will have on our website, is 5G capable. If it's not about the latest speed, you don't want this, the fastest latencies and everything, you just want good, solid, reliable 5G connectivity. A 5G kit, a 4x4 5G kit, doesn't have to be four high power antennas. Get two high power antennas, such as the LPDA 92, and a, some, a smaller antenna that you can put on the roof next to it or with the other antenna as well to pick up the signal. Maybe a little bit weaker, but still gets that signal. Rather than having nothing, you have something decent, plus you have two really good connections. That's my thinking in the coming in the next year, 2025, for 5G. Um, and we'll do more test studies on this. I am going to my Ponga Beach in the next week or so to also test this setup to see how well it works on a Teltonica modem and how well it works on an Alpha 5G modem. Um, I will let you know what I find on YouTube and on our social medias as well. You can buy all these on our website, rfshop.com.au. So nothing that we are testing these days will be some will be stuff that we don't sell. Um, so if you see what you if you like what you see. Come to our website, give us a call, send us an email, and we will help you to um, get the solutions that you need for connectivity in 4G and 5G. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.